Welcome back to my cruise vlogs. In this series, we are going to Norway to the beautiful Norwegian fjords, a real bucket list destination for us. We are on board Iona, the little sister to Avia and one of the seven ships in the P&O Cruises fleet. And on my channel, you can also watch as I set sail to the Caribbean on Avia once you've watched our Norwegian adventures. In this Norway cruise vlog, we're headed to Stavanger where there is so much to do and see, including a helicopter ride over the fjords and the most amazing park discovery. Then to Oldham where we share the incredible shore experience we did, which I would highly recommend and then to majestic Hellasilt with some fjord jumping and cycling in the mountains. Plus lots of fun in the evenings with a silent disco, music entertainment and testing out some of the fantastic dining on board as well as a perfect date night. I'm delighted to be working with p Cruises again to bring you these videos because they offer incredible value for money as everything is included in the price of your holiday and I know they provide exceptional experiences for every budget. I will leave information in the description to find out more about p Cruises and the destinations they can take you to but don't forget to go and watch part one where I share all about embarkation day, a cabin, a ship tour and a sea day. You can find the links for everything in the description bar and don't forget to subscribe to see more travel vlogs as well as daily life. But for now, let's go cruising. Welcome back to part two of my Norwegian cruise vlogs. As you can see, the beautiful Iona is here behind me. It's absolutely majestic. It's, it's so big, but so beautiful inside. So I'll be showing you more of what's inside. This week we are heading to Stavanger today, and then we have Olden, and I really don't want to butcher the names, Helisat. Heliest <laughs> and Haugestun. So we will be taking you along, showing you what p and Cruises has on offer for guests and showing you all of the things that we're going to be doing in this beautiful area in Norway. I can't wait to show you. If you haven't seen part one, pop on over and check that one out where I do a cabin tour of our cabin, which is a mini conservatory suite. It's beautiful. And uh, I've also shown you how to embark, what to expect on embarkation day and lots of things that we did on our day at sea so check out that video if you haven't seen it already thank you so much for watching these videos and supporting my channel i am just absolutely thrilled to be here with my family and show you what is on offer with pino cruises so today we are in stavanger and i am just about to go on a helicopter tour around the fjord and I cannot wait so I will show you that and then we're going to go and explore Stavanger it's beautiful with the white houses apparently you have to have permission if you want to have a different color house to white so I'll show you that it looks beautiful here thank you so much for watching subscribe to see more videos there's loads of travel videos here on this channel and let's get into the video so I picked up my uh, excursion team, people doing it with me, and we're heading into our uh, transportation. Good morning. Good morning. Can I have your lens, at the airport, I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous. Oh, uh, no, excited. We've got our lovely guide here, he's gonna show us what to do. I can't believe it, there's one coming in now. Oh, I'm so excited.
incredible. But we were just saying how it didn't look that big perspective-wise until you saw people on Pulpit Rock and they were like tiny specks. It was, you would, it, the scenery was incredible as you saw. There's a helicopter going, so I'm gonna go, but uh, wow, just wow. So we are heading up to, is this a particular area, Louise? Uh, I'd say the little white house is in Stavanger. Okay, That's there we go. That, that probably sounds about right. It's a fair description. Boys have gone in here to see some glass in there, and the kiddies are playing. Oh! <laughs> Everyone getting ready for their rib adventure here in the boats. the geo part which Louise and Liam told us about everything is made from recycled like rubbish or things that you would find in a scrap heap and they've made a park out of it so this is the other side of where you come in so it's like a sort of peninsula which is this side here the other side of that is where that waterway was where the rib boats were going from and then our um, owner's parked oh there she is you can see her just peeking through there and then this is the park here. You'd probably mistake it for maybe like a disused area, but it's actually really cool. Like loads of graffiti everywhere. Let's show you what's here. <laughs> snacky snack I actually had one of these a little while ago at the hairdressers and they are so good have you had one before first time ever. I right first really impressions good. Georgie's got one here as well oh yeah you can see the ship from here mm -hmm. over there what mm -hmm. on them you like mm. I think there's someone making us out oh it must be because it's echoey over there and they've got like chocolate chips in them and it's very cakey yeah, really good. It's like a cookie cake. Mm, but not dry. <laughs> We've just finished at the park. Louise and Liam caught us up and joined us there. And that was so fun. Although if you do go, comment below if, if you have been, if you do go, don't take your phone in with you. Think of it as a giant ball pit. You don't want to be taking it in there either because both phones were lost, <laughs> but we found them. Uh, so we are just going to head and we're going to try and find a bakery that sells apparently amazing cinnamon buns. We love a cinnamon bun and we had one the other day and it was a bit of a disappointment. So we're gonna go and try and find that. We're on the hunt. I like cinnamon buns. You're gonna have one too? Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna go back, I think to the ship, maybe go for a little swim. Just see what we fancy when we get back. That's so cool. You've got a chess table, yeah. You'd like that. So just to give you a bit of context of where we've been, the ship came in here cruise ship here and then we walked here around these lovely houses up here and then we went up and down trying to find a yo-yo for George and then we went all the way around here here and then we cut through like here-ish and it is so pretty all those shops we showed you Geo Park. and then we went to the Park, and now we've sort of cut in here and we're about oh we're here <laughs> we found it here they are Oh wow. Here 
Here they are. Found them. Found one. It looks really good, smells really good. This is the name of the place, if you're interested, near this building here and near a McDonald's. I'm back from the pool, so the children have been having a bit of a splash around, just having some fun together, relaxing, men folk are chatting. We are just leaving Stavanger to head towards Oldham. And it's, I just can't believe how blessed we've been with the weather. It's been absolutely stunning. I was not expecting it, having thought that it would originally be like springtime and then saw the forecast and it was like pouring with rain. I thought, oh no, it's gonna be absolutely freezing. But it's been stunning, it's been really beautiful. It's been lovely here, really nice stop, really nice mixture of stuff that we've done. So we've done obviously some sightseeing, that incredible helicopter tour, oh my goodness. And then, um, which just doesn't feel real, like how did that just happen? Um, and then also, looking around the town, having sit down with a cinnamon bun and just watching the world go by and then having some nice afternoon fun here, just relaxing. We sat in the room for about an hour, just chilling. I was going through some content, making some reels for Instagram and yeah, it's just been heaven. So we're leaving now. We're actually having dinner tonight at the beach house, which I'm looking forward to. So we're all going like Hawaiian vibe. Uh, I'm gonna wear my flamingo dress that I got uh, from ASOS a while ago, but I bought it for my birthday, but I thought I'd give it a run out now. And the children have got wine shirts. So yeah, we'll show you that. The beach house I think is an additional fee, so it'll be our first meal that we've actually paid a little bit more for, but I'll, I'll check, I don't know if that is the case. So far, with everything we've eaten, and I actually just went to the, the I think it's called Horizons, I just went up there and had a little smoked salmon roll and a cake and a coffee at like four o'clock in the afternoon just because I could. But anyway, here we are. We are leaving Stavanger and I'll catch up with you when we go to dinner. Wow. So we have just I arrived in the beach no, house. Look at this view. Yeah. Yes, I'm not just that. talking about me. Yeah. And this view. Yes. Here it is, here it is. Don't you look sensational? Look at that. Yes. And yes. Yes. And yes. 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 Guess where these are from. You will never Churros. guess where these are from. I'm sorry having that. Somewhere that you will never think to pick up earrings. Swarovski. Super drug. Stop. Yeah, it was just in there one day for something else and saw them for you. And I've worn them to so many I actually think I've seen you in them and yeah, I've even said to you before yeah, yeah. and I still forgot that. That's a mate 12 and they're beautiful. Yeah. And the dress, yeah, look, this is tonight's yeah. couple here. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Hi. Hi, hi. And we'll just walk while we're and not going to get to a week. This is, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then the children are down here. Yeah, yeah, we've gone, we've that, gone all the way in tonight. Well, they, the tropical, the tropical, the tropical yeah. vibe and then the view. But why why I'm coming on here is to tell you, I'm actually quite I'm optimistic about what, this. Like so this is our meal tonight. Like I'll like show you up close. Yeah, I think I've most of it, you won't see a price extra. And that's because it's actually included in the cost of your cruise. So there are a couple of things. So for example, if you want the halibut and salmon ceviche cocktail, it's one pound fifty. One pound fifty. So yeah, absolutely loads of choice on that. Many you could choose that are included, so you could come here and have a meal and not. Yeah, there's loads that's not. And I'm a taco girl. The tacos, no fee, no charge on those. Oh, you see the tacos. Taco trio at the top there. So yeah, really impressed with this. The, the beers are around five pounds, and then this is, I think, what the dessert is in order here. Four pounds. That looks huge. Do I, though, do you think that's a sharer? Oh, wait, it says it's a sharer. Let's see, that's, yeah. that's the answer. So it's so dark. Pounds for me. Yeah. And you said it's huge. You had it last year. Yeah, the girl put it last year and loved it. Amazing. It's messy. It is messy. Is it? Yeah. If you've not done your photo, three photos. I've got wet wipes. <laughs> The baker's camera. Georgie. These boys. It's what have you got for me? Oh, Do not touch that black. No, it's ever so, so hot. hot. This is my favourite steak by far. Is it oh, really? You are awesome. so bougie. This meal looks delicious. Mm. Amazing. This is the last block. Oh, thank you. I have a glass of Malbec, I think, with it. And it comes with a prawn. You are, and bless eater. Louise, she doesn't eat steak. I don't mind you all eating it. And we all have it. In fact, I think every one of our people has had this meal. So this was eight, uh, seven pounds fifty, I believe, and it is such a good piece of meat with prawns as well. For seven pounds fifty, and the fries. Wow! Oh my God! George, we get two marshmallows each, yeah? Henry's already making sure it's. Well, you're, to be honest, really I would be, sure my favourite would be the churros and the strawberries. 
Well done, Henry. I definitely think we need a napkin for this situation. Well done. Wow. Oh, what do you think of that one, Henry? Even better. Best thing you've ever tasted? Yes. Best thing you could dip that. Um, this is our pudding, which is included in the cost. Yeah, yeah, this is a bandito, I believe. Here's the lads, lads, lads. They got the memo on. They got the memo. <laughs> so this is the Mirabelle gin, which is distilled on board in their very own distillery. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. where the bridge is right underneath us, where the captain sits. But we finished that, we just had an hour, the children wanted to go to the kids club, so we thought, let's go there, I've never been there before. And now there's a silent disco, which is really fun. I'm just trying to find the toilets. Are they here? Oh no, no, we've gone the wrong way. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. So this is all helps us out whenever we need to find. So we've just come from... We were so close to the toilet. Oh, look how close we were. No, come on. We're we there, this. and then we just walked along here. Because look, we'll meet up with the boys who are with Yeah. Them. Oh yeah, let's get there. Said, oh, I think we've got in early because we're not moving. The ship is so huge that you just don't feel this movement. I think that's the most commonly asked question when it comes to cruising: is do you feel sick, seasick? Do you do you worry about the motion? You you honestly cannot feel at all. If anything, you just feel a gentle purring of the engine, which is really just puts you to sleep in the evening. <laughs> um, but yeah, look at that! Ah, it's amazing. We're just try, we're struggling up the stairs a little bit. We're just, we're actually just pulling in to Alden. Oh, look at the cloud. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow, it's so beautiful. We thought we'd get up early. So this is the retreat, which is the area that you can pay an additional fee for to come along to. You've got these beds here, and then you get served food and drink throughout the day. Well, I think it's self-service, but it's, I think, adults only. So I thought I'd just show you a little bit of footage of that. I'm sorry though, this, this view is what it is all about. Look at that. Incredible. Mm. Adults only bit, so I thought I'd show you it because this is where you can come if you want to have a little bit of a chill time if you're traveling without children or if you are traveling with children you want to just have a little bit of time. <laughs> There's a waterfall there, like a little mini waterfall. There's snow on the mountains. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
So we are just in Horizons, getting a little bit of a buffet. Look at all this fresh, colourful salad. All these options here. This is all included in the cost as well. All up here. Loads of different selection. Oh, make your own rolls. Oh, look at the fries. This obviously changes every single day, but I just thought I'd show you. We're at the bread section. We're at the bread section. Show you what is on today. We've got the carvery here. This looks nice. Steak and mushroom time. Curry, sweet and sour. And then some hoodies. These look good. Oh, yes. Don't change your lips. No fudge cake today. Share this view for our lunchtime snack. That's all right, guys. I just said how nice the view is. Having a light snack of. Five, six potatoes. I'm trekking up a mountain in cable car. In it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that tart I said looked amazing. And a little cheese, cheese board. board. Can't really say much to yours because I've gone for steak and mushroom pie, a salad, and the three bird roast, which is probably a sauerkraut as well. It's the most random combination, but we, we're going to give it a whirl. I can't get over this view that we're featured to. I just want to show you the process of leaving it. It's literally simple as right, sharing right. your card and then you're off. So, so simple and they can track who is in and out. So this is Olden and we are going to go for our coach now for our tour, our sky lift. And it's literally like walking into the sound of music. So pretty. and he's just stopped us here to take some photographs. It's just absolutely stunning. Like the water is turquoise. I don't think it's coming off on here. But yeah, the water is amazing. Oh, he's going down. He's off. They are off. <laughs> you going for a dip? <laughs> Nobody falling! Oh, well done. Good skimmer. Good skimmer. Ooh, yeah. Going in, he is going in. Is it 10 degrees? It's probably warmer now. <laughs> probably warmer now. He is in. It's tell Apparently, the weather station is saying 10 degrees. What do you think, Liam? It's pretty cold. Pretty cold. <laughs> pretty cold. We are at the Lowen Skylift now. And we're going all the way up there. Yeah, we're gonna go in. Very really high. Your ears popping? Yeah. Yeah, mine is good as well. Oh, it's your tummy bear. Goblins. It's really hard to show justice of how good this view is. Going down to the little viewpoint here. Henry's found his walking stick. I'm trying not to slip. Oh, look at this landscape, the, the terrain, the fauna, no, the flora, sorry. The flora is very mystical. It is. Legend has it that Merlin slayed goblins here. Really? Yeah. Wow. Some say there are still some goblins that survive in the local. Some say, do they? Legend has it. This. It just doesn't do it justice. How amazing this is.
Oh right, we are away from the cliff edge now. Stu's actually just gone running, as he would do, up that hill. Uh, the children are here with Pearlie and Darcy, and there's another viewpoint here. Oh yeah! Ooh. Wow, that's awesome! Wait, so can you see him? He's only just left. Literally just popped off now. He's up there in the white t shirt. I don't know if you can see that. Probably just a shot of a rocky hill. He's gone up to the top of that. <laughs> Liam's like, no, I'm out. <gasps> oh, wow. This is amazing. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. I mean, we have a situation. What's the situation, dear? Of course, there's a situation. Oh, what are they mining? Oh, they're probably making another platform. It's not them, yes. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's allowed. Georgie, what do you think of this speed? Does it make your tummy flip? No. Makes your tummy go really flippy because it's like over, and that sort of like bends a little bit. I can't describe it, but it is. Such an amazing view, and look at our owner down there. So we just phoned to see where the boys were. We couldn't about to find get them on. anywhere. We were getting a bit worried. In the queue. Why well, has they been gone a minute? Down. Yeah. Just cooling down with a, a Nordic beer. He's got a beer there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. It's creepy. It's going to be creepy. Whoa, whoa, it's shaky, isn't it? I don't think it's supposed to be this shaky. It's winding us up. Wait until you go over the edge, though. That's when it goes. And the whole lift just screamed because it just went. There's people skydiving up here as well. And what was the other thing they were doing? Oh, I wish Space Jump did as well. Is that the same? Yeah. 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 Space Jump is when you jump off basically you parachute down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I've done that. Oh, I'm going to do it. Crazy. Coming in. We are back to Iona. That was a really quick, last little journey of the trip so the beginning part was actually sort of a big tour of this beautiful area just dropped my phone anyway yeah so uh it was stunning and then we went on to the sky lift so that was yeah brilliant so that was a bit chaotic i dropped my phone oh bye oh that's so sweet <laughs> i will list below all of the links for the excursions that we've done um but yeah that was amazing that was so so good and it was a full afternoon as well so yeah, a really great bucket list thing to do if you are lucky enough to be here in Norway. Be here as well, the queue is obviously not very long here. It's back there, not many people in it. Um, and you just have to show your cruise card and then an x-ray of your bag and then you go in. Children are playing the Try Not To Smile game. <laughs> Which is just basically making George smile more than ever. That's just rage. We're in the Opal restaurant. This one is actually all included in your room. <laughs> this one is where we ate uh, on the yeah, bench, which is really lovely, all including the price of your stay. I think, what did I order? Oh, I was going to order, I was going to order fish and chips, and then I, you told me there was calamari, and then I saw the other special, which I can't remember what it was now. Oh, did you go with a We're a little bit tired after our yeah, day out. I went, I went with chicken. Yeah, well, this has been, so, what's, 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 I was trying to talk a minute ago, and Louise was like, what's your words? You just say yourself. You ordered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something delicious. Nice. Something delicious. And oh, and we are leaving. Yes, See the landscape going oh, oh, Hella silk. Which would be lovely. Can I say go for stars? I love Hella silk. Older than Hella silk are my two faves. Yeah, old I think it's just been well, definitely my favourite, but yeah. obviously many more days to go. If by any chance that you do not already follow Louise, make sure you do go over. Go over for mum life and dance mum life, so dance mum life. Yeah, it's really interesting actually, because obviously I don't have any... I, I don't dance. <laughs> 
um, and the Instagram is also just my name, Louise Pentland. He just walked in and got paper. So I went with the steak and kidney pie, which is looking very nice. To be honest, if I ever see Savoy, oh, and some yeah. chips, thank you so much. And that, yeah, so anything with Savoy cabbage, I want. Oh, no, so, so no chips for us. Stu has um, a chicken situation. Liam looks like he's got the lamb. Lamb. Um, we've got the chicken. And the boys were just looking at the Northern Lights map to see if we may see them in Hellas Silk. No, just all Anywhere, to be honest. Hang on. Finished our meal, we're going to head over to the crow's nest for a little drink. And the children have asked to go to the kids club, thank you. So we said let's pop for a little drink at the crow's nest. Oh, we're going through the keys, is this the keys? Oh, this is Horizon. Okay, <laughs> so to get my bearings. So we're walking through Horizon. You're worth it, you're worth it. <laughs> you're, being, you're being awkward in the background. Just feeling a bit silly. And you just haven't, I just don't know how to act when there's a camera. I've got the silly. Not, yeah, not, not, not used to this. <laughs> used 14 to years on. <laughs> Ooh, room for a dessert. I've just had a lovely honey panna cotta. It's lovely. <laughs> through the sky bar, uh, sky dome. We're having some sort of show on soon. Fun. This is where we had our disco last night, silent disco. Shame it's raining, it's been so lovely this whole time, but how lucky we've been. For anybody wondering, because I know outfits and things like that are quite a common question that people ask. What to wear, what you're allowed to wear, things like that. I'm actually doing a reel, oh my gosh I'm so cold, on my Instagram, which is Lara. I've just got dropped rain on. How nice is that, someone's in the hot tub. Lara Joanna Jarvis for a reel of my outfits of the night, if anyone's interested. That pop on over there, I've saved all my highlights of what we've done there as well, under Norway, Norway 1 and 2. Um, but yeah, this is our little normal photo spot here. It's so nice with the golden light. We've had such beautiful weather. So there's a little dress code there. just left the guys briefly because I'm heading to the jewellery boutique where I'm going to have a little bit of a presentation about lab grown diamonds. I don't know if you know anything about them but I'm interested so let's go and have a little look. Um, in this process the seed is incredible pressure and heat. Yeah. Thank you. So once a year it's thousand to five hundred thousand for a five carat mat. You can see this one is very modern and it's a carrot three and you've got them. Because it's not even because it's not fair. I think I found the one. <laughs> That's so beautiful. So interesting because I had no idea. Lab grown diamonds have been around since the 70s and they are clearer and better quality for the most part than my stones. Right, I'm not going to be able to finish the story because I'm now going through the Sky Dome and it's going to, the show's going on. But it was really interesting and you can save a lot of money, much more affordable way of buying diamonds. And they are ethically sourced and really, really high quality, sustainable. Stu has got a really fun day. I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Clean the sign, whatever you fancy. I might get the children first and then come Late down. night snacks. <laughs> 7 to 1 30. These kitty winkies. And then home to bed. What did you say to them? Oh, we tricked like so many people. And then we said that cousins. the mold dude was our uncle. That's why there were two men dropping us off. <laughs> you said that. You said that. You're the bald dude. The bald dude. The bald dude is the uncle. <laughs> Super busy in here for the late night snack. Everyone is loving the late night snackage. It's just come out with a plate of wares. What's so good about this? Battenberg cake, lemon drizzle. What lads and kiddies are over there? Hey Darcy. And then Louise and I are gonna have a little come I don't know what table. What is that? Uh, is that custard and fritta? Frittata. <laughs> We are all settled in bed and cosy. We've just been out on the balcony just looking over and there was another cruise ship going by and it was just like the air is so fresh and lovely. But yeah, we're going to go to sleep now. Thank you for being here today and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. 
this is our view. The ribs are just going out. That is the, I think that might be the Granger Fjord tour. This is our view over here. It's mystical, it is majestic. It is raining a little, or it has been raining. We left our stuff on the balcony last night. Oh look, here come all the canoes. Kayak, sorry. That's amazing. Imagine how peaceful that must be out there. All of this space. So Stu has just headed out on a bike tour, which he is doing on his own, because obviously it's not really something the children can do, it's up a mountain. <laughs> and I'm definitely not someone that is desperate to do it, shall we say, but he is a really huge fan of biking, so, or cycling. So he is absolutely buzzing for that. So I'll, sh I'll go to Stuart Cam in a sec, uh, but we are just gonna go and have some breakfast. And then I think we may well do the pools or something like that on the ship. And then we'll have our lunch. There's a waterfall like four minutes away from here. So we're gonna go and head over to that. So another action packed day. I slept really well last night. Had a bit more of a lay in today because we did have an early morning for the last couple of mornings. So I think we just needed to recoup energy. And that's the lovely thing. You can just stick to your own schedule whatever you want to do, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, looking forward to today. We're gonna take some rain max, I think it's gonna be a bit cooler today, but we've been so lucky with the weather. I'm so grateful that we've had such amazing weather. Um, but yeah, just look at it. I'm just waking up to this, it's just incredible. Day to be breakfast next to a waterfall, is it? I've got a little paper on the go here. I'm gonna have a little catch up what's going on in the UK back home. I've got my coffee on the go. The children are swimming. It might be a bit loud here, so I won't keep long, but yeah, lovely. Yes, after what we said yesterday, was it yesterday? No, when we were in Stavanger, they're putting some um, public chess boards in. That's so nice. So nice just to have a little moment have a recoup, we catch up. Oh. Um, Stu's loving the bike tour, he's been sending me loads of pictures, so he's loving that. The guys are out at the moment, uh, Louise and Liam and the girls. Um, but yeah, it's just been a really nice evening so far. So we are going to be in the grey section. Uh, Red carpet. Oh yeah, I think that's just. I don't think that's the same as the signs on the door on the walls. Look at these beautiful flowers. So this, I think I showed you, is reception. So if you need any help there, these smell amazing. These orchids. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. And then here is info on. Up here, wouldn't you? It's the shops and photo hub. And then up here is gonna be, oh, it's chat. So the shops must be open when we are moving because it's all tax free. So you're not to be in the port, I think, or something like that. It's not only a Lego shop. No, what else do they have? Toys, Beanie Babies, all that, all those brands there. And then I showed you these yesterday, didn't I? All over here today. So I'm always just amazed at how many shops there are here and how many different things you can buy. This is the short experiences section and also booking the next cruise. I'd love to do another one. I'd love to do a Mediterranean one actually. This is the short experiences area here. Have a little chat, have a little rest, have a little chill. The thing that always amazes me and it's just like there's just so many options so much choice for things to do so if you wanted to go and do some bingo now it'd be on like there's a program of activities can we get baby of all the things that you could do <laughs> anytime no, no. Mommy, no it moves <laughs> well done 
Clouds are coming in now. We have just ordered some room service. Look at this. Lunch. Mm. Looking over this incredible view. It's just been delivered to our cabin. I'll show you what we've got. We've got a meal each, a drink each, and a pudding each. I've gone for the superfood salad, banoffee chocolate cake, a plate of fruit for the children, and some cookies, some fries, <laughs> and then a baguette for stew. And I'm sorry. <laughs> this view. <laughs> She's been helping me bless him, bless the good egg that is Stuart Jarvis getting my Instagram content. <laughs> and yeah. he's now get to, gets to sit down. A little sneaky sneak, there's no coffee left for him. Sorry babes. <laughs> They're having a little race to get downstairs. <laughs> Step three. Because <laughs> we are going out. And I thought my youth would last forever. Cinema, what's on tonight? <gasps> tonight it's got... Um, oh, Run's Gone Wrong. Shazam! Knights of the Zodiac. And John Wick 4. So we are grey, which means we can go down to deck three now. You can't do that from red. You have to be mid or forward, because obviously that's where the gangways are. So yeah, always use those as your guiding star. So helpful. And as soon as I got to grips with it, these just make a huge difference to tell where you are. So, I wanted to show you here in Hellasilt, there are excursions you can do or short experiences you can do from here, but the ship is here, and if you wanted to, there's a really lovely waterfall just there. So if you're thinking of some days Maybe you want to keep costs down or you don't want to I don't know, go out too early or you want to just do a bit more on board when the ship's quieter, then this is one of those stops. I would also say that Stavanger's the same. You could literally just spend the whole day in Stavanger and not actually do a short experience. So yeah, there are ways of obviously keeping the costs down, but for us, the, the Olden Skylift, incredible. Obviously I did do the helicopter ride because it was just a complete bucket list thing to do, but you, there's so What's much there thing? to do in Stavanga. What's that, baby? Oh, it's, look how clear the water is. That's how clear it is. You can see to the bottom. It's probably a rock. We didn't care if we were acting stupid because all we had was eyes. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Because honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because we discovered love. here. It's a real life fairy glen. Look at it. It's amazing. We've got the waterfall up here. Wow, it's really coming down off of here. I don't know if you can hear me. And look at Iona. We're getting really, really wet. <laughs> I don't know if it's rain or if it's a spit of the, the spray off of the waterfall. It's really lovely. It's like so refreshing. Oh, you're all a little bit rainy on there. Yesterday. Boys are just asking about when they can go to kiss up. It's mildly offensive that you don't want to hang out with us, but that's no, fine. You've no, made I, lovely I'm just friends, saying, Darcy and Pearl. No, I'm just saying because my, because you, <laughs> yeah, because you said that um, I, what you mentioned it. You said what? What, what time do I want to go back? No, to kids club? no. Georgie just literally said to me, "What time can we go to the kids club? Can we go at six? Which is literally when it opens." Mum, do you know what? Because that might oh. be the first one. So I was like, "Oh, we're even talking about that. It's three o'clock, and you want to go to kids club? It is really, really good. There's loads of them to do there." Yeah. The reason yeah. I want to get there early is because that means I can have more FIFA. Oh more yeah, he discovered they have FIFA. Yes. Yeah. Seems more fun. Oh, I did see. He was. He, did he jump? Okay, so we've just done the waterfall, which was really beautiful. There's Iona. And over here, there's this little... Oh, it's a little beach. Okay. And there's people jumping off of this tower. Oh, there's like three different levels. No. Into the water. My trousers. Boys are asking to go in now. They haven't got any swimmers. Look at the view. Got actual changing rooms here. It's our little cabins to change. So it's obviously like... I'm built for this purpose and then there's like three layers oh it's so high <laughs> <laughs> right henry's desperate to go in so he's going to change 
You're looking excited, Georgie. Yeah. Nice and warm, like a bath. Yeah, he's oh, like really warm. Really toasty, yeah. <laughs> guys know I would have been in that water if I had suitable bathing equipment but unfortunately I didn't bring it with me so I had to leave it to my children. <laughs> George didn't do it in the end because it is so cold but Henry and Stu did. It's such a, an amazing thing to do it's just I just I don't really have the words like it's just so cool so magical obviously it's a free thing to do as well. We got Iona in the background the water is so clear it's like green clear looks amazing and these like purpose-built places yeah. She didn't want to do it. And some didn't want to. It. I really wanted to, I just didn't have the equipment. No. Anyway, we are going back now to Iona. We need to get on quick because we have an onboard time at four o'clock. And then we are heading for Hogerston tomorrow, but we're going to do a date night tonight for Stu and I. We're going to go for a date night, so yeah, more on that soon. We are now leaving. We're having a little my watch dad, party. We've got the so, phone going on dad, to do a time lapse. Like George is desperate to go and see the guys. Boys yes, have really missed the, are, um, the girls today yeah. where we've not seen them because we've been doing other things to each other. So um, they're desperate to go and see them. We have a little oh, cheeky right, coaster. I don't know what's cheeky about it, but it's happening. Um, from Vistas in the atrium. And I think we're going to just pop down now and go and see them before our dinner. Have a little chat. And yeah, bye bye, Hella Silt. Off to Hogerston. Hogerston? Hogerston. <laughs> we are off on our day night. So we're going to go to the 710 Club, which I really wanted to go to, I haven't been yet. And then we're going to go to the Keelan Cow, and then Anderson's, I think. We'll see where the night takes us. It's free to do, but you have to book it. So it's a half an hour. Well, it was about 40 minutes, wasn't it? But the booking is yeah, for like an hour. Minutes, so an like hour. seven o'clock. And there's one at 8.45, one at 10.30, and then one at 12.15 in the morning. So there's loads of different options. Seven, I think it's seven days a week, perhaps. Well, not on sea days. I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Um, wow. I just walked two flights of stairs, guys. What about our breath? I had the Gary Barley signature cocktail, which was a Negroni, very nice. And now we are going to the Keelan Cow. And fun fact, they have Hampshire cheese, which is where we're from. They have Tumworth cheese here. Oh, do they? Tumworth, just like round the corner, and it's absolutely delicious. Making pecan nut pie. Oh, have they? Please look at the dessert before the main. I'm no, trying to show you over here. Look at this view that we're having. Oh, it's amazing. I like, just like casually. Sailing through the fjords whilst we're about to have our dinner. The one thing I really would like is this tunnel. It's made in Hampshire. We were in the Caribbean on Arvia and we had Hampshire cheese and we are from Hampshire. So that's amazing. Um, but what I wanted to show you here was the supplement. So they there is a fee for some of them, but it's obviously so much more affordable than you would get in a restaurant. So I'm probably gonna go for the ribeye which is an additional fee of 15.50 and it's absolutely delicious like i can't tell you how good this, dessert, this uh, steak is absolutely amazing i've been wanting to dine here since we got here because i had it once in the caribbean on rbf and it was like so good so good Susan a steak fan and yeah we really look forward to this it's our little date night part two uh, chapter two what's next what's next 
Okay, so our staff has arrived. I've got the trout sort of pate situation. I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of vegetable. And then I asked for some brioche toast with it. So cheese cream and brioche toast, which is so good. And he's gone for a pate situation. It's really good. Some brioche toast. It's more of a terrine. Is it a terrine? Oh, yeah. Parfait's smoother, right? I stand corrected. And then, yeah, I don't quite know. I think this is a bit of a parfait with trout on the top. Okay, here's mine. I actually, I, there was loads of extras to have with it, like onion rings and things like that, which I just took off because I just wanted this. Apple sauce, a bit of lettuce, a few fries. What have you got over there, mister? This is a Tivo medium. <laughs> you're very excited about this. I am, I am excited. <laughs> it's actually ginormous. I really hope that you enjoy it because I think it's fantastic. Sure. Yeah. So we are done, we are going home, we've collected our little mini tribe. How good was that? It was so good. We went to the casino after our dinner and I don't want to brag, but I'm very good at roulette. <laughs> I basically put £10 down. I lasted all night. Well, for a couple of hours, but it was really good fun. And the lift is here already. Luck is on our side. I'm gonna end this vlog here because we have so much more to show you. So if you haven't seen the other vlogs in this series, I've got two from the Caribbean on Avia, and then we've got the Sea Day and Stavanger on day one and two of this current trip here in Norway in the Norwegian fjords. I'll leave everything you need to know in the description bar. So what this what this cruise is, the number, um, any details that you may want to find your own excursions, your own shore, shore experiences when you're on a PO cruise, and everything hopefully that you will need to know. So do check in for video three. We're gonna be doing Horgerson and another sea day. So hopefully loads to see of what we get up to. I've really enjoyed making these and I know when I'm watching this back I'm gonna just be desperate to book another cruise because we have just had such a fantastic time already and there's still more to go. I feel like there's just so much to do that uh, we need to like break it down so you don't have like three hour vlogs to watch at a time. But I do really appreciate you being here. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you back here for part three of our Piano Cruises vlog here in the beautiful Norwegian fjords. Thank you so much for watching. Come over to Instagram if you want to see more. I'll save all my highlights there for uh, all my stories in a highlight so you can see those if you miss them. And I will see you so soon. Take care, bye.